we can track changes in forest cover over time, identifying areas where illegal logging is happening. We can also monitor the health of soil and vegetation, creating maps that show where land is losing its productivity and turning into desert. This monitoring capability is crucial for taking action. When GIS data shows that a particular area is suffering from severe land degradation, conservation groups and governments can intervene. They can use these maps to plan large-scale reforestation projects or to introduce sustainable farming practices that help restore the soil. For example, by analyzing satellite data from different years, scientists can calculate the rate of soil erosion in a farming region. This information helps them work with local farmers to implement techniques like terracing or planting cover crops, which protect the soil and improve long-term food security. GIS also plays a direct role in fighting poverty and hunger, as outlined in No Poverty, which is Goal 1, and Zero Hunger, or Goal 2. By combining data on crop yields, climate patterns, and poverty levels, GIS can identify hotspots of food insecurity. These are the areas most at risk of famine or malnutrition. Aid organizations can use these hotspot maps to deliver food and other assistance exactly where it is needed most especially during emergencies like droughts or floods. This targeted approach is far more effective and efficient than trying to distribute aid without a clear understanding of the geography of need. Ultimately, GIS is a technology of hope. It provides us with the knowledge we need to build a better and more sustainable future. By helping us understand the where of every challenge, it empowers us to create targeted, effective and equitable solutions from ensuring a child can get to school safely to protecting a forest from destruction, GIS gives us the tools to see our world more clearly and to act more wisely. It is fundamental to turning the vision of the Sustainable Development Goals into a reality, building a world where both people and the planet can thrive together.